Just last night, I got home from Finland, uh, where I won the first competition of the year. Now that I'm home, I'm taking uh, advantage of the opportunity to be reunited with my kitchen um, and my cooking skills and controlling what I put in my body, which is fuel for how I train and therefore how I end up competing. So I've been cooking for myself for about eight years, but my mom was an excellent cook. We had a great garden growing up, so I've been exposed to food and nutritious uh, meals for my whole life. Some of my favorite snacks are bare naked granola in Chobani yogurt because I'm, I'm, I'm oftentimes coming home from the gym and I'm so hungry after a two hour workout that I can't even make it home. Um, so I'll eat that as I drive home or in the parking lot before I leave. Well, the big competitions come with the pumping up um, themselves. It's all built in to the, to the celebration and to the attention we get going in to the Olympics. In 2010, it was walking into the opening ceremonies. That's what pumped me up and felt literally felt the roar of the crowd in my chest. Um, it elicited this emotion in me that I think I carried forward the next day and skied positively because I knew it was a bigger deal than I had previously acknowledged and I was excited to be representing my country. My rituals would be warming up extensively on a competition morning or any day that I train for that matter and always eating breakfast and then Borderline superstition is the way that I wear my hair. I braid it into pigtails and tuck it up into my goggles. However, I have one time in my career competed without my hair like that to prove to myself that I am not insanely superstitious. I think that I was lucky enough to have a wonderful childhood with supportive parents who let me be a kid. I played team sports. I played with horses in my backyard. I went skiing on the weekends. Um, I didn't um, choose skiing as a career path. And I sort of let it choose me when I qualified for the ski team as a 16 year old. So um, let fun be your guide um, for knowing that you're making the right decisions when it comes to sport.